No doubt his upcoming prison term will be hard on former Governor Rob Blagojevich, but what about his two young daughters? Well, to help us understand the, the impact on the entire family, we have our guest back, Dr. Sheila Raja. She is a clinical psychologist at UIC. Always good to have you, Dr. Raja. We first want to get your insights on Rob Blagojevich himself. We heard him just saying today, telling people, stay on and keep, don't give up. And we saw him signing autographs throughout the entire trial. What's wrong with him? Yeah, isn't that the million dollar question? I mean, I think that this goes beyond sort of, you know, um, this is probably a personality issue, uh, a deep-seated personality issue. And, um, you know, when you talk about rehabilitation in prison, I don't know that prison is going to rehab his personality unless he gets, um, you know, some sort of uh, deep work done. <laughs> yeah. What about his family, his, his daughters yeah. in particular? What do you say to those girls? Well, um, I think that the long-term goal for them is going to be that they're going to have to learn that what their dad did was wrong, but at the same time that they love him. And both of those things can be okay. And um, that's what the community and their family is going to have to work on, giving them that message as well. What do studies show about the impact on children when the fathers are away incarcerated? Well, you know, um, incarceration of a family member is actually considered a traumatic event in the development of children. So it has a big impact um, many, many years later. It can be buffered by different things, like a good amount of social support. And so that's going to be hard. You know, do they move away to Colorado, in which case they're probably going to be away from everyone, but maybe that's good too because they can have more of a normal life. What's your take on that? I mean, because they could eventually go to Colorado, get away from the limelight, mm -hmm. but they're also losing their support system that they have here in town. I think the ideal would be for the girls' perspective mm -hmm. and their mental health would be, you know, if they did move, then I hope that family and close friends um, continue to support them. You know, continuity is really important for children, particularly when there's a traumatic event like this. They're 14 and 7 years They're old. Little. Tender ages. All right, Sheila Raja, thank you so much for thank being you. with us. Don't forget, if you have uh, a story idea that you'd like Dr. Raja to hit on, you can send us an email to askthexperts at cbschicago.com.